and three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. Socratic Dialogue. Uh, we hit up Fan Expo. I always think it's like Comic Con. You know, I kept saying that. I remember I was like, oh, we're yeah. going to Comic Con. But it's like, no. Well, for the longest time, we did think of it like that, though, right? Yeah, I, I thought it was like, I thought it was basically the same thing. I guess it's like Toronto's version of Comic Con. Well, do it Toronto well, Comic Con? They do, actually. That's the thing. Oh, no way. Yeah. Okay. So. so how come we never been to that? Uh, I don't know. It wasn't, uh, it only started like kind of recently, I believe. Comic Con? Or at least Toronto Comic Con. Oh, okay. At least okay. when I heard it, I only heard it like a couple years ago. Right, 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 right. Yeah. You know what's interesting? They, like with Toronto International Film Festival and stuff, and like mm-hmm. Fan Expo and like mm-hmm. Anime North, there's like a lot of like art conventions here, eh? Oh, yeah. I never really noticed that before. Because I was like, I was at mm-hmm. RBC. Yeah. Uh, Canadian Bank, if you're not from Canada, and there was like these ads playing for TIFF, mm-hmm. uh, Toronto International Film Festival, and I was like, oh right, we do that here. <laughs> we've never done that though. We never, you and I have never actually gone to a TIFF though, but we've gone to like a, the documentary. I have one. always wanted to go, but like I kind of <laughs> feel like what would like what is that about? You just buy tickets and you watch like movies in advance of like other things. Yeah, that's it. Well, these are like s- s- like. Selected. Generally, I do end up watching them, but it's just like, uh, just coming out later. Like you got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they're like for independence and stuff, but not just not necessarily. Oh, I mean, okay. yeah, mostly the ones they pick. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But some of them, uh, it helps them get critically acclaimed. And then oh no it, way. Okay. So it, there's like big box office movies. At well, it might well. it it might help uh, end up getting there. Yeah. Like right. uh, oh, I think I see, I see, I see. like Slumdog Millionaire. Was a TIFF movie, and then he, just... well, was in TIFF. Oh, okay. It's like Sundance, right? Film festivals. It's just that, like, I'm not, I'm not really big into. So it's just like, like uh, them, uh, mainly independents. But if you're like, it could help, uh, like, make it bigger. Like, like get more attention. Get more attention. Yeah, 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 it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But that's not what we want. That's not what we went to. We went to. Uh, no, no, we <laughs> not. So. I don't know. We transitioned um, to that, but. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we 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 would like to go to like a Comic Con in California. That'd be kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, until we until we can muster that up, Fan Expo is where it's at. This is like our third time going. I think mine third time, definitely third. Uh, I I mean overall probably my fourth. I think, but there was like okay. a big gap in between there where I didn't go right. for many many years. I, like what? What made us even want to go in the first place? Uh, just I'm assuming it was general. you. Like I don't, I'm not really into this. Like, like I'm not really like hip to events that are happening. Uh, when I first went, it was just like a version of a comic con that I wanted to check, check out. out. Yeah, yeah. Like artists. We went with Sid. Or e, did we? Yeah, or, I made like two uh, fan expo. Okay. Um, videos i didn't make one this time because i was like ah it's the same thing like, <laughs> it's gonna be the same video over and over right, right, yeah. right. but uh, anime north was pretty cool i i wish we went to that one yeah but that one like snuck up on us and it already passed so we couldn't go to it um mm-hmm. but yeah you wanted to go to this one this fan expo one yeah i think the biggest like the the primary selling point for me for going to fan expo is like getting art yeah. You know? Yeah. And, like, visiting the, um, like, we don't even really go for, like, the interviews. We always go to, like, the Sunday one. Just get the cheap ticket, and then we go in, and then we, like, see all the vendors and stuff and just buy stuff from them. Yeah. That's mainly, yeah. We played that's video mainly, games yeah, last yeah. time, but not this time. We watched the esports. That was kind of cool. Right, right, right. So, the, like, mainly, there, I didn't see anything in, in the video game thing that kind of intrigued me this time because there isn't anything... That's really, coming out. Really yeah, mean, specifically. Yeah, totally. Me, so, well, what was that Final Fantasy VII that guy was playing? Uh, that's the uh, no, re- the, the re- remastered, not remastered though. I think that's remake. I think oh. like uh, that's gonna be sick. It, the PS4, like, yeah. admittedly, when I saw like the trailer stuff, I was like, ah, it's not that good. But when I was watching him play, I was like, oh, this yeah. looks this looks pretty cool. Mm. Looks very um, fluid. Right. You know, um, it's kind of like a. Um, kind of look like a devil may cry thing to me or like a god of war right you know that like hack and slash kind of thing oh yeah yeah which might be which might be kind of cool but yeah um fan expo 
pretty much like a, a nerd event. I'm surprised <laughs> at like how many people actually go to this thing. Right. And like different types of people that you'd have never expected. Like there's some like OG looking dudes. There's some like straight up comic dudes. Well, I, like, the point is that it, they're just all kinds of people that do this that you don't yeah, even yeah, realize. Yeah. For sure. For sure. And, and it's like such a like inclusivity builder, which I, I really like. Mm-hmm. And like with the thing about like comics and like all this stuff is it's like because it's such a nerd culture, it's like you have to be like comfortable in who you are. Like you're not gonna see like like a like gangster you'd be like, Yo, I love comics, bro. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. or like a jock, like I love comics. Right. right. But like going to these things it's very like inclusive, I'd say. Mm-hmm. And um yeah, I'm, I'm fascinated by these like little subcultures, just like Anime North, you know. But I feel like some people are even more more into it than, than I guess me. Like, oh yeah, we didn't even dress up. Like some of the super uh, intense. Oh, that's so, the other that's like, the other thing too, right? Yeah, cosplaying. Yeah, but like oh yeah, it's it's like Halloween. Like, eavesdropping on people's conversations, like okay, when yeah. you're walking through, like they're talking about stuff, like uh, more like more like they're way more into it than me. Like it's cool though. It's just like. Uh, I just know the basics in general. Right, 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 right for sure, yeah. Or maybe we're, more we're about more the video like games. Uh, but casual like, fans. Yeah, yeah. Versus like hardcore, these people are like hardcore fans. But I don't know, like, I wonder what the appeal is of like dressing up as your favorite character. Is it like, like, the, like it's, you know, like Halloween, I get to pretend to be this person. Yeah. Or like some people get acclaimed, right? Because like other mm-hmm. people get to like take photos of them. So that I guess that's kind of cool. Like you get a little bit of like. Right like a little bit of like semi-fame mm. by going to these things uh, yeah. a lot, lot of times they make their own right so uh, some of them make a living on that too well, but it's surprising because wow. there's no like competition or anything you know they're just doing it solely out of like uh, but there are the though there are at, at Fan Expo yeah oh really yeah I believe they do have like those um, uh, like a best costume talent show or oh like really fashion show oh, I didn't in a know sense. That. yeah I, I think they do have the, those, those oh maybe things. it's on the days that we don't go <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah but they do have that what uh well I guess our favorite parts were like the uh the individual artists um I find I, f- I think it'd be like cooler if there were like an there was an event just for artists right. so mm-hmm. if somebody out there is listening and you guys know that there is like a local event for artists that would be really cool that would probably be much much better right than like because like the comic book stuff was cool but we spent like most of our time in like artist alley yeah you know what i mean so it's like we weren't even we didn't care like the small little people were there but it's like meh yeah. Well, I don't. I'm not really into the meeting the celebrities, but that's also there for those people that want to do that, right? Yeah, true. But because that's also like a lot of money. Yeah, because you do yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah. You have to like pay for the autograph and yeah. pay for the meet and greet. Yeah. Exactly. Do um. Do you feel like it's like, like because now we've gone two years in a row? Mm-hmm. Do you feel like it's the, kind of the same thing over and over? Like a lot of the artists were selling the same stuff. I was pretty stoked. Because I was like, right. hey, I got a second chance at buying it, mm-hmm. as opposed to like last year. Yeah. But like, it, it almost feels like Groundhog Day, you know what I mean? It's like always the same. Like like the the main area was the same of last year. Mm-hmm. Like, like everything felt the same. Right. You know, minus like last year was a Dragon Ball Z exhibit, so that was kind of cool. Oh right. Yeah. There was no like exhibit for this. Well, they one. had the um, esports. Is like the esports thing. Yeah. I'm surprised that the esports like it's definitely going to become like um, a future thing with those like kids being like the celebrities and everyone cheering yeah. for them. I'm like, wow, this is like, it's weird when you see like it on screen and you're like, wow, it looks so awesome, but then you see them in real life and you're like, oh, it's mm-hmm. just a kid walking on stage, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. What I mean? but like the camera angles are like everything. But I, I think those are just like you can sign up and be like uh, have a team. Oh, it's not like uh, they I don't weren't think, like no, pros? They were, I don't think they were pros. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it was just like a, like, like you could have probably signed up for that if you were. Right. Yeah. Do, so you were saying about like consoles changing this year, like uh, potentially. Uh, next year, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Like, so the types of games they had, uh, I think, will be more interesting to see next year if the. 
if the release for the new consoles are next year. That's like that's what it was that I'm more intrigued about. Like I was, like the games that will be coming out, and they give you those demos. So I believe next year will be the new consoles, and possibly they might have those new consoles at the the next, next fan year's uh, fan expo. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. the same so, thing. They that's the same thing they had when when we went a couple a few years ago, right? Uh, they had the Xbox One, Xbox Ones, and the PS4s. That was before they go. They were released. Right? Oh no way! Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I vaguely remember that. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. So, like, I don't. Do Do you think something's gonna like overtake this in the future? Like, do you think it's still gonna be a viable, like, thing? Like, you think people are gonna still? I think so. I mean, I I, it's I like don't not know a the dying thing. Uh, I don't know the numbers like as to like how much is growing but it seems like that it, it, it is growing there's always something new going on or they're adding in true uh plus uh i mean there's more there's a lot of those kinds of conventions now right mm-hmm. which is pretty interesting because like metro toronto convention center right like there's there's been so many different conventions that i've been to at that place yeah. like the health health food convention and mm-hmm. like yoga convention and it's like yeah. It's it's so weird to think that we have these like subset cultures within our larger society that like run parallel right. to everything. We don't even like yeah, we don't even so know. Things. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I bet you a lot of those people you'd have never known that they were like comic book heads. Yeah, you know probably not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody was like petitioning for Spider Man out there. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's there's a lot more people i mean it's it, it's a variety of things people like right it's not just spider-man right there's a lot of anime stuff there's a lot of yeah which is surprising that there were anime anime stuff in there oh i think it, it's just i think fan expo is just a culmination of all of them in a like sense. all fans y- yeah right what, what did you like better did you like uh anime ex uh sorry uh, fan expo or anime north um anime north is very particular to just having anime right yeah, true. So there are positives and negatives to that. Uh, for me, I'm not as uh, like fluent with anime, mm-hmm. in a sense. So uh, I probably would have got a lot. Like I like it; it's cool. It's just uh, um, it's not like Fan Expo fits more my style. I would say. I think. But we didn't even check out any like the Wolverine, Superman stuff like that. Like, no, but know. I was uh, as we were looking around for our art, art, art stuff. That's what I was also looking for, and there were some that kind of stuck out. Right. Right. Some of the Deadpool ones. Some of the there was a Spawn one. But we didn't really we but, didn't really get any of those. We got like the Halo and the Cowboy Bebop one. Yeah, yeah, but that's still. Would you get Halo in Anime North? Yeah, it's true. No, but what I what I find weird is it's like um. It's like a giant flea market or something, you know. No, it yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, well, it's 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 also like uh, especially I think it's it's very very huge for for those independent artists like. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah that, for sure. That's they make the, a lot of money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that's where it's mainly uh, where it succeeds is it kind of brings all of these guys together and kind of you get to see the different styles of art and uh, you, like whatever kind of whatever appeals to you is what you want to buy. Right. 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 So, Instead of like, it's also like, uh, you know, it's, you can't find everything if you just search online sometimes. You just got to be there physically. That's, yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah, because like you get some like treasures when you go to those things. I, I think it's really interesting how different, um, different cultures around the world and at different points in time, they always had um, like markets like that, Mm -hmm. you know, like different vendors selling different things. Right. and like sure you we like prop it up as like being like a convention and stuff but yeah. like at the end of the day it's like really we're still buying and selling goods at that thing yeah. it was is more is more so like a market than it was like um like an actual like celebration of comics you know what i mean but uh, yeah i mean it's all it's all part of it right like yeah it's yeah, celebrating the, the art of it. it's celebrating the artists it's celebrating the whole it's everything of course money is involved everywhere right True, but it's not like a tiff, right? Like a tiff is like just you're just completely celebrating the art. Like you're not like hawking goods. They're not, they're not selling right, like right, t-shirts right, there. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, how, I wonder how many of those like artists are even into comics. You know, maybe they just like bought the booth because like, oh, this would be a great place to like sell my art. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you could see like I don't. I don't think some of those um. Uh, those jewelry ones. I don't think they're as 
Oh, sure. Yeah, those jewelry it. ones. Yeah, yeah, that's so weird. Do you, do you know how much a table costs at these things? Uh, it ranges on how big the table is. Okay. Uh, it could range. I think the prices are up, though, but normally about uh, a few hundred each few hundred few hundred wow you got to sell a lot of product then i think so yeah that's why a lot of them uh, a lot of the independent ones they split it right so split they, the they, yeah, yeah. they sh- one side is theirs one side because i had a friend that was um uh that was uh, used to sell a lot of stuff I right know. right yeah but you know like you can't like it's really mm-hmm. it's really unique what you can find at these things that's the thing yeah you know like about all the stickers and like the that guy that I really like, that 1% talent designer. Yeah. Um, shout out 1% talent. I always buy, like, I saw, like, on social media, he was at this, like, Danforth festival, so I went down, and, like, he's always at, like, <laughs> Fan Expo, so I always, like, visit his booth. Right. But, like, he doesn't have a storefront, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of these artists, like, looking at, like, listening to, like, mm-hmm. musicians and stuff, there's, like, a lot of bureaucracy and, like, levels and, like, obstacles and hoops you have to go through right to become like famous or like in a gallery and stuff yeah or like even have your own storefront you have to understand how to like run businesses mm-hmm. right so like i do see the value in like helping smaller artists with these events it'd be really cool to like put one of these things together just for like just for like artists you know i'm sure there's got to be one out there like artist uh artist driven uh, there is one in, I think, uh, um, I forgot where, that's what the building is called, but that's a bit of a free one, actually. Oh, no way. Okay, yeah. so there's one. Yeah. Is it, like, every year? Uh, every I weekend? believe it's every year. Um, it is, uh, a different styles of art, so it's just not necessarily comic-related or game-related, okay. so, yeah. Yeah, but, like... But it could also be some weird art there, you know. What I mean? the, like, there is, there is, yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> but it's not as big. Uh, I think it's more if you go for specific genre like anime north and stuff. That's where you'll find more specific things that you want, right? Like you'll probably you won't like most of the things that if we go to that one. Yeah. Uh, then if we go to um, like Fan Expo, maybe Toronto Comic Con next time or. Uh, uh, yeah, the Anime North. Yeah. Do you think there's like a like an age limit to these things? Uh, you know what I mean. Like, is it kind of weird seeing like old people? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think that that's uh, that's why it's. I mean, majority of the people there are uh, older people. Yeah, uh, that's true. Right? I guess yeah. Uh, of course, kids do go there, but it's a lot. Uh, a lot of these are you know. Uh, and they're, uh, I guess, are mid twenties to thirty, maybe forty two, right? Like, but there are, of course, some that are older than that. But I don't see anything. It's just art. It's just uh, right. Yeah. You know. I guess. I guess at the same time, if you look at like games like Pokemon Go and like how yeah, I was gonna bring adults, that up. yeah, yeah, because yeah. like whenever we run raids and stuff, it's like you'll get like a twelve year old kid and then like a <laughs> sixty year old man, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. and like that is. Like, I think that's, like, some, like, true inclusivity at that point. Right. You know, like, when you, like, there's, there's like, different, so, like, are you can look at inclusivity through, like, mm-hmm. like, you know, oh, we have a belief system that we want to hold. Like, it's very, like, us versus you mentality. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sort of like, um, you know, like, the... I'm just trying to figure out how to like word this politely. <laughs> like, um, you know, like there's different movements out there, right? That like support a belief system. Yeah. You know, but I feel like, and then they preach inclusivity, you know. But when you look at it, it's still like bringing about an us versus them mentality because you're you're like you're holding to your your ideals Mm -hmm. right but like when it's like this kind of thing there's no ideals it's just like we just enjoy something so if you we do something out of entertainment purposes right then i feel like it's even more inclusive Mm -hmm. you know because you're you're brought together with these random people through like enjoyment versus like pushing an agenda right you know yeah because i've like i've never i've never seen such inclusivity in in like anywhere since like these kinds of things 
but these things are very nerdy, you know? <laughs> yeah. Right. Literally, I've never been like a, like, yo, you don't like Sasuke, bro? I like Itachi. I hate you. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, that's cool. Like, you into Itachi, I'm into Sasuke. Right, you right, know? Right. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, like, team sports going on. No, no. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these, uh, also a lot of them, it's a place also to meet these independent artists. Like, sometimes you do end up finding them online, but then it's like, you also kind of want to meet them too, right? True, yeah. And yeah, that's true. And a lot of them uh, fall like like they are into the same style of art, and then they can learn. They do end up learning from each other. Like, what are the tricks you used, or like? Oh, it's like so a, like that's also what's happening. Right, it's like a little community in a sense. It's like a, it's like um, it's like a yeah convention. Like it's like lawyers have conventions, like mm-hmm. marketers have conventions. It's like it's like an artist convention. It's yeah, like you yeah. tattooing conventions. Right, you know, there's all sorts of things. Yeah. It's. Do you think it's like, it's almost like too bad that in smaller areas that you don't get to, get to have these kinds of like things, you know, like um, if you if you live in like a, like a small town or like in a country where it's like, not that open or like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, we're so free, to practice. And like indulge in these things, right? In like the first world, and like especially in Canada too. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like, like I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to see if there's like a like a negative side to this. What do you mean, negative to? Like, because because you know we just said the positives, but like, yeah. is there like a negative side to it? It's almost like hinting at the fact that we have like nothing else except for the superficial to bond over I don't know uh, but that happens with anything though <laughs> yeah I guess I, some people feel this type this place of the world is very lonely right so you think that that's why like I think that we're so into our conventions uh, well, I think that's why they were, we do these things of course yeah it's maybe better generally for everyone right yeah, yeah. better in the health of the community I guess yeah possibly <laughs> I guess or like is it separating us as like a society like I don't think it's separating like... us it's just uh, you don't end up meeting always the same people right right because they're, they're into the same but, thing so but I, I just find that like it's so it's almost like it's cool to me that these conventions exist but at the same time it's also kind of weird because it's like we need to like seclude ourselves into these like conventions alone you know uh, but everyone's welcome it's not like it's actually I guess or maybe it's just like the whole purpose of it is like commerce based so it's not really about like excluding or like yeah, keeping it inclusive it's yeah, just like yeah. we need to sell tickets yeah 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 like I like this year that they gave us badges versus uh, last year was it that had wristbands I hated those ones Oh yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, you, know, you had to like scan your um, badge, and then like that's how you got into yeah, each event yeah. and stuff. I mean, I, I like the badge uh, badge way. Yeah, yeah, true. I mean, it seems, right. seems like more official. And yeah. what's interesting is, is you walk downtown, like you saw everyone with those badges too. You're like, oh snap, they were all just at Van Expo as well. Right. Yeah. 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 That's super cool. Uh, it's funny for me uh, to see the same person. That's been there uh, since when I first went there. Oh, um, oh what's his Still name? Still selling the, uh, his Bla- comics. Afro Man or Bla- Black Black Afro? What was his name? Black Bastard. Black Bastard, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, that's so, so weird to me. It's like... Yeah, that is. But that's... You can only find it there, like, or his website, I guess, but it's like his stuff will not be sold in... Like comic book shops. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, sure. it won't be. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I find that I find it funny that he's still like he was still there. Maybe that's like his only time of the year that he sells. I mean, or it's also like a place to meet up too, right? Because a lot sure. when I went last time, when I saw him again, I was like, uh, I see a lot of people like talking to him and stuff like that. So it's like, it's it's, it's interesting that way. I did talk to him for a bit too because I was like. I remembered his, him from when I first went there and I bought that like stuff. Like when you were, like, super young? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Or, like, high school, I think it was. So, like, 
I wonder what their day jobs are like, you know, when they're yeah, not doing this, I, like, 364 true. days a year. <laughs> right. Yeah, because you never know, right? Like, you see these people in, like, these, these like, closed-off circumstances, and you think, like, oh, that's that's their full-time job. Right, but, like, right, 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 right. Most often, it's, like, not, you know. It's more of, like, it's very rare to, to have, like, especially as an artist. Like, mm-hmm. I guess, like, that's where the whole idea of starving artist comes from. But, like, right, right, right. it's very rare for, like, an artist to solely do what it is they're doing as a full-time job. You know? Oh, yeah. Unless you just, like, luck out on it. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, a lot of them, a lot of the independent artists have jobs, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Or, like, different, me- like, so, like, I'm really into like digital design and stuff and like yeah. I have a, a day job doing digital design you know so it's like mm-hmm. it, it's like in that you're still practicing your art but right it's like not the like you know what I mean you're, yeah, you're like yeah, making yeah, yeah. money off of side or like tangentially using your skill mm-hmm. through different means right so I wonder what all these other like artists do you know as their like day job like, one's an architect, you know what I mean? That'd be kind of crazy. I mean, it, it's kind of true, though, actually. <laughs> like what? what? Like, true. they, they, like, the friend that I had, she's an engineer, and... Oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah, does the art thing, too. Yeah, exactly, there you go, so that's a like great totally example. Different. Yeah, yeah, but they have, like, a following and stuff, and yeah. then, like, people, it's I, almost like a secret power I, I, or something. I remember you know? when I was there, they would ask her, like, oh, did you, stu- what, did you study art and things like that, and... She's like, no, no, she's studying engineering. It's totally different than yeah, totally. Than yeah, what so you there think. you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she didn't like professionally do this. She just ended up having a talent for it. Right. Yeah. So. And like, you know, like being famous and stuff. That's really just like, um, um, extension of, like, it's sort of like what you're like the notoriety you get at these booths. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I like your work, and I know you just like imagine like. A thousand people saying that to you, you know, right. it's it's yeah. the exact same thing, just on like a, a macro scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's interesting right. that you have these like semi-famous people, mm-hmm. not like actually famous, but like within right, their right. chosen field, they're famous. You right, know, right. so that's pretty but they actually uh, niche. niche uh, no, that's true though. But she, like, a lot of them go to different ones around, uh, around the globe in a sense. Oh, that's taking their art. Yeah, and they kind of like. Build up more of a uh, a base, like a following. Yeah, following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. I I think that's what it is. You know, I've been like watching a lot of um, like a lot of these people that made it, mm-hmm. like doing their art, like musicians and stuff. Yeah, and it's like it was like a ten year overnight success. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we all just hear about you now, but like like let's say your friend like becomes super famous as like an artist, and then it's like oh wow, you came to nowhere. It's like no, I've been doing these small conventions for like ten years. Well, she she has been doing this for a long time. Yeah, so there you go. So like, exactly. like when I had gone, those years that I didn't know this uh, know her, but then I probably passed by her booth many times. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I didn't even know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, totally. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. That, that's I find that weird too. <laughs> but uh, the, I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 always cool, to go, especially the artist alley or the the independent artist alley, whatever. That's like. It's always cool to see the different styles and whatever like kind of sticks out to you. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. It's so. it actually if you think about that even further, that's kind of weird how we have these like boxes that we place people into. So it's like like knowing this person is an engineer mm-hmm. and then like going to this convention and being like, "Oh wow, you're like semi-famous, like people know who you are." Mm-hmm. It's like it's interesting that we place people in these boxes of perception. You know, we we know so little about like even though we spend like 8 hours a day of with our like Coworkers, yeah. We don't actually know things about them. No. You know, and I find that like very weird, but fascinating at the same time. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, some people do make it uh, more than just that, right? Wait, what do you mean? Like more than just being coworkers. Some people do. Yeah, I end don't up know. making. Yeah, you know, I know, I know. Yeah. yeah. But I'm saying there are people that do do that, right? No, totally, totally. Yeah. 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 Um, but it's, it's funny because like only after leaving my first workplace that's when I started promoting all the other stuff like hey Young Yoda mm-hmm. like what podcast you know what I mean like mm-hmm. because it's like alright am I gone you know <laughs> but right. like and then they were like mind blown they were like what you were just this guy doing designs over here you know what I mean like yeah, yeah, yeah. That, right. that, that, that's what I find like weird like as a like it's almost like living in this apartment you know you live next to like 500 people but you don't know anything about them 
<laughs> you know, it's right, like right. it's almost like collective isolation. But I mean, even at these, even at these events and stuff, it's not like I'd like want to be friends with any of them. I just appreciate right. their art, right? You know, or the people that like have similar interests in you. Like, I don't know, something weird about it. Like the convention. I think it's appeal. just cool in general, just because it, it's you cool don't... for commerce. I think it's cool for commerce. Yeah. But like, anything further than that's it's kind of weird to me. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Because uh, because I always look at it like, oh, what's the? Well, this year there was none, but like, it's always about mainly for about the games for me. So, to try them out before they're out. So. Yeah. yeah so you go there with the purpose, but yeah. like, like. I guess maybe I'm, like, looking at the people that dress up in those, like, you know, mm-hmm. in those, like, cosplays to feel, like, inclusive. Well, some people are actually, like, do, do make a living off that, right? Their cosplayness? Yeah. No, but, like, all right, so, like... There are some. I don't know <laughs> the, how other people are doing it for. Why? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. I know I mean, what you mean, I think. Like, 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 if you... You know when you see, like, yeah. the, the ultra weirdos at these conventions and you're just, like... <laughs> Like, wow, this is the one day you can, like, let your freak flag fly. Right. You know what I mean? You're kind of like, what? Right. That, that, I think that's what, like, makes me feel a little weird about it. Mm. Just, like, like, you would never do this on a regular day. Okay. It's sort of like, it's sort of like, like, Halloween. Right. You know, <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, like, Halloween, like, when, when, like, girls have, like, um, yeah, yeah, They've yeah. been known, you know, what I mean? like they, they just use an excuse on that day. I kind of felt that at Comic Con to um, Fan Expo too. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of like skimpy costumes, and I was just like, "What are you doing?" You know, <laughs> you know? it's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I meant about the weirdness. Like, right? Like, commercially, it's cool, but like, like the minds, like, because we're going into it as like, oh, it's like an event or something, right? Yeah. But like, to think of it more than that, it's like. That's what I meant about like the subsets of like people who are like lonely. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's cool nonetheless. I mean, it sounds very judgmental to say, but I just think it's kind of weird. Right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I guess. But. But overall, I mean, overall, uh, like it's still a good. No, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Thing, so. I'm, I'm like stoked we went. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, well, you think we'd ever we'd go next year, or you think we'd just well, like, if if the PS Five is next year, yeah, true, definitely check that out. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the Anime North. Right, this time we won't forget. <laughs> yeah, and if there is Toronto Comic Con. Yeah, I think that's like during the winter time, so like generally the Comic Con. I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, they I probably already that. have the date set up. So. Oh, okay. We we'll just have to Google it and stuff. Yeah. 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 All right, um, so, uh, cool. huh. final. What, would you would you what? oh the oh, one thing yeah. I don't like about this is expensive food that's true yeah <laughs> but like I was saying we gotta like we gotta bring our own snacks yeah yeah I yeah I would never actually well, a lot we, of them we bring bought their own. one yeah. time and it was like it was like eight dollars for it's like, not even one that hot good. dog and you're like what the hell it's not even that good yeah it's just a commercial machine yeah right like, food wise yeah I mean yeah. generally yes everything <laughs> Uh, if there's uh, one thing you'd recommend checking out at Fan Expo for somebody who wants to go next year, what would it be? Checking out? Yeah. I think Artist Alley. Oh, uh, yeah, Artist Alley. If you want to go meet celebrities, you could do that too. Yeah, but I don't know. Not, I'm not really into that. Yeah. Unless, I don't know, maybe does it have to be someone specific for me to do that? No, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so I much money. Like I find that, that it's kind of a rip off. Uh, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think I'll ever do that. Yeah, I just like no. thinking about it. Like, who would I even like go and really want to see? Like, I don't think. I think if they're charging money to go see them, I'd be like, nah, you're not worth it. Because even if I, it was, just like, Joe I just don't. I just don't like view. Yeah, but, like I don't even just. I, cause a lot of things. A lot of times, it's like you view them a bit more. Like, I feel like it's a bit more godly ish. Like you know, what I mean, looking at them like that. Oh, it's um. Oh, I forgot who who it was. He's like, I never want to meet my idols because it'll just ruin it for me. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I just view them as uh, uh, actors just doing their job. That's all I view it as. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's and, like uh, you're doing a really good job at being an actor. Yeah. 
there's no like deification there. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying like yeah, that. The, yeah. Those are like the negatives mm. associated with it. Like the the weird. Yeah. The weird expression of yourself. Like the costumes, mm-hmm. and then like the overpriced stuff, and like paying for autographs <laughs> and like deification of like celebrities. See, there's negatives to it, you know. Like that's what I was. Yeah, but in general, I think those are positives to the city. Oh, yeah, 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 because it's, like, commercial. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's true. (laughs) It depends on how you look at it, I guess. Yeah, totally, totally. Because I I, I just don't want to be like, oh, my God, like, Fantasy Club's amazing, everyone's got to go. Because I do see, like, the negatives to it as well. The weirdness, like, how somebody looking out from the outside in can see it as being weird. I was like, yeah, I totally totally get your point. I always want to meet those... uh, those fundamentalist religious folks that are always outside of that yelling. Yeah, see, I'm not into that. That's weird. No, no I just, I just find them, find it fun. Like this is all part of my entertainment. That's how uh, I do it. There was that, <laughs> what, what's that place? Young and, uh, Young and Dundas? Yeah. Yeah, Young and Dundas. There was, uh, there was like a whole Christian like play that was going on and one dude that was like dressed like a demon, he like just stood there like watching them as if he was like the devil. <laughs> And I was like, oh, it's straight trolling right now, bro. Right. Actually, there's a lot of that happens there. There's someone I want to meet that does it there. But See, that's the thing. Could you imagine across. those people like going home in their like, costumes and people are like, what a weirdo. Mm-hmm. I guess, yeah. Yeah. I feel like in a big city, like putting everyone together, just, just like you're creating problems. I just found that I, I, for me, it's it's all part of my entertainment, though. I, I, because it's not, it, nothing really. It doesn't really bother me. It's just he believes whatever he wants to believe, but it just makes it's just entertainment for me. I don't know how to so, explain. But, right, right, this. But because because you don't you don't take it personally. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying like when when certain people feel like their belief systems are being challenged, because they identify highly with their belief systems, yeah, and they yeah, think yeah, that yeah. they're being challenged rather than their belief. Mm-hmm. You know, then it's like. That, that's what I mean. It's like you're, you have too many people with conflicting beliefs. You're going to have like butting heads once in a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that's, that was, that's all part of what I like, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, but again, that's why I say you're like you're not taken personally. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Which is yeah. like kind of but then it's all, suggestive like even, society. But, I guess, but then even like I, it's funny to me to even see that people that, that do take it. Seriously, yeah, Seriously. yeah. No, but totally that's what I mean. It's like. It, it's sort of like, you know, when, like, a, a kid, like, you have, like, a kid that's getting upset over a toy that they didn't get right. for Christmas, and you're like, bro, it's it's fine, mm-hmm. you know? It's sort of like, that's how I kind of feel about those people that take it too personally. It's like, dude, it's just a belief, relax. Right. Like, they're not actually trying to physically harm you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a weird, like, introspection over society after going to comic con i thought it was like fascinating mm-hmm. but like simultaneously i was like wow what a weird culture we are but uh, yeah yeah you know I mean? it's like yeah. it's cool it's like i loved coming away with art but like so I, at the same time it's like what a weird culture we are yeah i mean there's a ton of people that go to that thing so of course you're gonna meet you know random weird people like that but I, I think I'd feel that way about anything, like any convention. I guess so. Weird because yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, wow, yeah. it's just a cluster of the exact same like, like-minded like people. Mm-hmm. And then like the duality situation is like people who are walking by it, like who aren't into it. See, we're, like, what we're exactly, but we're not like like deep into it like that. Like, so we we're able are, to float in and out. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, that's why we can kind of see that. But like, some people might need that, so. But that's what I mean. It's yeah. like it's like what does that mean about you as a person that you need that so heavily? Mm-hmm. You know. But I guess we all need belief systems, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it gets really tiring walking around that thing. Yeah, phys- yeah, physically. Physically tiring. though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. So uh, next week, I don't know if we're gonna have a podcast because I'm going to New York. Oh yes, right. Yeah. So uh, we might not have one, but it is coming out. Is it? Yeah, it, next week. Is it? <laughs> is it? It is. Oh, <laughs> snap. Uh, yeah, so we might, maybe that'll be our next podcast. 
Uh, Wait, next week it's coming out? So after you sixth. come... Yeah, yeah, so the Friday that I come back. Huh? I come back on the Monday and then the Friday. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, sure. So, yeah, I might watch that. Okay, yeah, I'll watch it. Looks pretty it. Good. Yeah, it looks I, good. I don't think I watched the first one in the theaters, but I will watch this one. Oh, you know what? I loved the first one. No, I liked the first one. Yeah. I didn't I didn't watch it in theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah I don't know if I'll... Uh, hopefully this one's just as good. Number one was really, really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know it's about pedophilia? Huh? I, I, it, what? Yeah. So the the <laughs> spider, yeah, the spider was uh like, the demon was like in the actual book. This is what I heard hearsay, uh, total hearsay. But in the actual book, it's like it's not actually a demon. It's like their psychosis after being like molested as kids. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. why the dad in the first movie was like, "Who's my little girl?" I don't remember much of that. Oh, yeah, 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 freaky. It's not like an actual spider. It's like a, like a, mm. an person not a personification, but like an animation of a. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hmm. Weird, eh? Yeah. That yeah. isn't weird. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about like, <laughs> like the like dressing up thing. I'm like, who does that? Uh, yeah. Who does that? Whatever. Who cares? It doesn't matter to bother me, so. Yeah, true. I'm just trying to get into, like, the mind state of, like, a person. Like, I get it, like, Halloween, but when we were in Halloween, like, I, I never took my costume seriously. I remember when uh, Wob tied, like, uh, <laughs> tools to his head. And, you know, <laughs> what are you? I'm a tool belt. It was, like, a joke, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah, opposed yeah. to, like, right. people who seriously took their costume, like, to the next level. Uh, maybe, maybe there's, like, a small group of people that's, like, you know, oh, how did you do that kind of stitching? Or, I don't know. Like they're seamstresses, yeah, like they're yeah. like, yeah, yeah. It was like, like they're costume artists in some way, yeah. Because some of those things that they got to make are kind of not that easy to make, right? Yeah, that's true. So oh, that'd be kind of cool. You worked on film or like for plays, right? Yeah, yeah it was like uh, a side, side job. Yeah, true. And I'm, I'm over here like judging so hard. <laughs> no. Anyways, so till next time, uh, don't judge too heavily because you never know what somebody else is into. Just enjoy life. And if they're not into the same thing as you, beat them up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, until next time, uh, we'll check out it. See you in a week. Yeah. Take it easy.